everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore. Welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications each time I upload a new video. I upload on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Sunday, and then I will often throw in another video during the week. So make sure you hit the bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. So today is card day, and I've had requests to do a masculine card for Christmas. So this is the card that I'm sharing. I am going to just, I'm going to move everything down a little bit. When I got done with it, I saw that it was up a little bit too far, but I wasn't going to take it apart and try to <laughs> redo it. So we're going to redo it in the video, but I think it's going to work out fine. I am making a couple for some men in my life. So this one is going to still go to somebody, even though it's a little bit off. But I'm really funny like that. I like things real symmetrical. So, I mean, it works. All right, so for this, what you're going to need is the Toil Tidings. And if you saw my video Sunday, I used this designer series paper, and I told you I was hoarding it, which I have been. But since I got those requests lately, I thought, let me go ahead and make a masculine Christmas card. I'm not the best at masculine, but I thought this one turned out really nice. And this pattern is perfect for a masculine carrot. If you want to go with the red, you can just flip it over and do one in red as well. I think they'd both be beautiful. I just went with the green because it seemed to me like the green was more of a masculine color. If, if that's, I mean, either way. All right, so then the, die, the stamp sets that we're using is the Wishes and Wonders. And I'm using the bundle, which is this one right here. I'm stamping the deer and this is the sentiment I'm using. And then these are the dies. It also comes with the deer die. It comes with this deer which will, it's kind of has an embossed look to it. And then this one is to cut out the stamped image. And so those all come in here. It's got a great label in here and I love the sleigh. I haven't used that sleigh. I'm bound to use it before the season is over. <laughs> I really want to use it. So that is the um, bundle. And by the way, these are on sale right now during our great or our giant um, year end sale. So if you want these things, grab them now. And I hope these are still available when I post this because everything has been going so quick. There's a few things I've put in my basket. And I need to get them ordered because I notice things are going so, so quick. I'm also using these beautiful bows dies. These are some of my favorite bows that we've ever had in Stampin' Up! and the pine cones. I love them. They're so detailed. And this is the one I'm using. If you don't have this set, then just use some kind of greenery that you have behind it. I think that would work as well. And then I'm using the stitch shapes and I'm using the largest of the stitch circle. All right, so what you'll need is a card base, five and a half by four and a quarter. I'm using very vanilla because this designer series paper has very vanilla in it. I'm also using a piece of four by five and a quarter piece of the toil tidings, like I said, um, to mat it. You are going to also need a piece of garden green to cut out your circle and your bow. And then you'll need a piece for the sentiment, which is three quarters by three and a quarter. And I'm also using Garden Green ink. And then I'm using this Forever Greenery Trim Combo Pack. And I'm using the trim only on this, and it's gold trim. And it just added enough bling without making it feminine, if that makes sense. And then this also is a great one for masculine cards, too. It's a little gauze, like very vanilla gauze both very very pretty all right so first thing that we're gonna do let's go ahead and mat this since I already got it on there like that I'm gonna use some stamp and seal for this and we're just gonna mat it I did not have any of my thick uh, very vanilla left I need to order that but I would use the thick for the card base if you have it it works without the thick, but I just love the quality that makes the card seem when you use the thick. All right, so let's go ahead and grab some very vanilla, and we are going to stamp. 
and we're going to stamp our deer with the garden green. I'm leaving this all monochromatic. You can do what you like, but I love that monochromatic look. So that is what I'm going to do here. So we're going to stamp him. And then while I got the ink out, I'll just go ahead and stamp the sentiment as well. See if I can get that straight on there. And yeah, I did pretty good. All right, so everything's stamped. I'm going to actually just cut this down so that I can run my circle at the same time um, through and see if I can get both of these run through at the same time. Um, well, maybe not, but we'll go ahead and bring the cut and emboss up here and let's try it. See how far we can go because I need to cut the bows out too. Just the one. I may be able to do it. Yeah, I think I am. All right. Great. All right, so here is our little deer. You may need to um, put a little bit of, I think I'm going to grab some washi and put that on to hold it in place. His little antennas are, or not antennas, his little antlers are hard to line up in there, so. All right, so we're gonna do the bow and we're gonna do the circle. That's why I wanted to use the washi on him. All right, let's run these through and then we'll have everything ready. I love my new plates. All right, so this one we're gonna have to kind of poke out. And look how cute he is. Isn't that an adorable deer? All right. Oh, we need to get, I'm gonna use my little paper piercer here. And this has got a lot of holes in it, so you can get it out pretty easy once you get it started. I usually do it all around and then Pretty much grab the one that's gonna come out first and then just gently peel it because it is pretty delicate. Isn't that pretty? I love this one. I think this is one of the best that we've had. I love like the pine needle look and I think this one was really, really nice. All right, let's bring our card back in here. We got our sentiment. We've got everything ready to go. So first we are gonna put on this, I'm gonna just use wet glue for this. And like I said, I'm gonna move this down a little bit. See if I can get it centered here. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to add this bow here. And I like, I did not put, I only put adhesive here because I liked that it kind of st stood up around the deer because we're gonna pop him up like that. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna add it right on the end here. And it's gonna leave that a little bit loose. And I just like the look of that. So we're gonna, let's see, let's put that like that. And then we'll do our sentiment and I'm going to use my dimensionals for that. Again, I'm gonna use the sides here. And we'll put some on him too, cause it might be a little long. I hate using, I shouldn't be using these for this. Those are my favorite scissors and I don't want to mess those up. All right, so we are going to next, we need to get our trim. So this is the trim that I use and I'm just wrapping it around like three or four times just to give it enough to put behind it. Just wrap it in a circle. And I, I'm just gonna set it down just right here. And I'm gonna take a couple glue dots. And I'm just gonna 
attach this to the glue dots. Like that. Cut this end off here. And then we're going to put our sentiment on. Like that. Let's move this all out of the way so you can see. And then we have our deer. And we're going to put him right in the center. Like that. And that is it. Isn't it quick and easy? And I think it's really, really a nice masculine card. I am i don't um, praise myself on masculine cards, but I thought this one turned out pretty nice. So I hope you enjoyed it, everyone. If you need any supplies, you can shop on my blog at stampingwithamore.com. This is my December hostess code. If you use the hostess code, for those who don't know, um, I put you in a drawing at the end of the month, and then whoever wins, I pick a number off the generator, number generator, and whoever wins, I will email with the amount that they get to use for free. They get products for free. So I hope you enjoyed it, everyone. Have a blessed day, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later, everyone. Bye.